<clears throat> okay, ladies, um, let's talk about personal growth for a minute here. And let's talk about mothers who reject their daughters. So on my channel, I talk a lot about abortion and um, I talk about what happened to me. I talk about the two post-abortive classes I've taken, um, ongoing abortion support. And, you know, there's a couple things that really did bother me in the post-abortive care classes that I talked about. One was it couldn't have been forced unless you were, you know, sex trafficked. That's a lie. <clears throat> we see many, many parents who force their kids into an abortion. So that's one lie. The other one is um, <clears throat> a lie I, I've heard too is, oh my goodness, why would it take you 30 years to heal? right? And that's because there's a layer upon layer upon layer of healing. A lot of people don't deal with abortion until years later. So one thing that hasn't been brought up that I haven't seen that I want to talk about is rejecting mothers. Mothers who reject their daughters um, are some of the most damaging mother-daughter relationships around. They are very destructive. They can bring um, a girl's self-esteem down really fast when especially in adolescence and adulthood when she needs her mother a lot of times the trauma around abortion is the fact that her mother rejected her and rejected the very fact that she was pregnant so you want to dig in you want to deal with a mother who's rejecting the best thing you can do is to prioritize yourself and set boundaries and I'll be talking about that more too